The progression of drills that we're about to do are called modified front toss drills. The reason that's important to work on is it closely simulates a live pitcher. Many coaches out there or players may say, I can't throw BP. But you're going to see that we're going to go ahead and modify it. We're not too far from home plate. We have a safety screen so our front tosser is protected. And then everybody on the team can throw a front toss. The reason that this is valuable, the hitter can work on their timing of the throw coming out of the leg. The timing will be different every time, just like a live pitcher, because every single release is not always the same. So what we're doing is we're simulating live hitting in a modified setting where the batter is going to get a high percentage of strikes. At the same time, our on-deck batter is behind the sock net or a safety screen, and she's working on her timing and rhythm in watching the ball come into the zone. So you have two people working off of one pitch. You get a lot done in a small area and hopefully a more productive hitter. Let's take a look right now as Monique does a front toss to Natasha and Taraya is behind the sock net working on her timing. It's important to emphasize that that front tosser gets her hands out of the way and she's far enough away from the net that if the batter hits the ball right back at the net, she won't get hit by the ball. Natasha's goal is to hit the ball up the middle. You'll notice that Taraya is going through her same routine as a hitter behind. This front toss drill is now going to work the inside pitch. Let's take a look at how Natasha stays balanced in the swing, has the proper contact point out in front, because this is a pitch that's coming to the inside. Once again, she's going to really focus on seeing the ball come out of the pitcher's hand to simulate live batting practice. As a batter, you're doing everything you can to catch the inside side of the ball or the front of the ball. You don't want to catch the outside part of that ball and hook it foul. The next front toss drill, Toraya is going to work on hitting the ball to the opposite field for power. You'll notice that Natasha is behind her working the same thing on her side. So what we're doing is we're working our mental routines, working our, our physical mechanics, whether we're in the box or we're on deck behind the sock net. Let's take a look right now at Toraya being on time with the pitch. Taraya stays back, lets the ball get deep in the zone. And when she does that, she's got all the power on that outside pitch. For those coaches that have players that have difficulty with this outside pitch, sometimes it helps to have the player not take a full pivot with their back foot. In other words, maybe they don't snap their hips open as much as they normally would. This will help that player hit the ball to right field. But the number one problem with players that cannot hit to right field is they don't let the ball get deep enough in the zone.